Hey guys, Austin here at 715 Tactical. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna dive into the Razer AMG UH-1 by Vortex Optics, AKA the Huey. Now the Huey is a holographic weapon sight and Vortex hit the market with this to compete with EOTech. EOTech's been in the game for years. They've been doing military contracts, law enforcement contracts, you name it. So let's see how the Huey performs. You already know the next part. The Razer AMG UH-1 was developed with LEO and military in mind. This holographic weapon sight is here to make a name on the civilian market. With a total length of 3.6 inches, that's still 0.2 inches shorter than its competitor. Now when it comes down to holographic weapon sights, it seems like it's either a love or a hate relationship. You either like them, or you simply don't. Personally. I'll always run straight to a red dot if given the chance. This is a CQB optic. This isn't meant for your long range shots. Although, with addition of a magnifier, you can still achieve that. The large field of view and the crisp reticle allows for lightning fast engagement. The sight picture is very impressive and distortion is absolutely minimal. Usually you get a little bit of distortion with a holographic sight. Vortex is calling this reticle the EBR-CQB reticle. I will say, it is very easy to pick up and allows you to put it on your target with rapid speed. When it comes to CQB scenarios, you need an optic with a crisp, clear image. You don't have time for mistakes. You don't have time to guess your targets. The UH-1 is here to help with that. This optic is powered by one CR-123A lithium ion battery and you can charge your battery straight from the optic. That's kind of handy. The micro USB port on the UH-1 was a great addition, which allows you to charge your lithium ion 123A batteries via micro USB cable. It's always good to keep those topped off because you never know when a situation is going to arise. The last thing you'd want is to enter a situation with a dying battery. Now the CR123A battery will last approximately 1500 hours. This optic has an auto shut off after 14 hours, but it can be disabled by the user if you choose to. Now this weapon sight has unlimited eye relief and it is parallax free. If you watched my last video on the Vortex Spark AR, you might remember me mentioning that all red dots and holographic weapon sights are going to exhibit some sort of small parallax, but it's so minimal that companies consider it parallax free. The Huey's adjustment graduation is gonna be by half MOA. You're gonna have a total of 16.5 MOA travel per rotation, and your max elevation and windage adjustments are gonna be 100 MOA. The UH-1 has a fully multi-coated lens. That helps increase light transmission, and it also has anti-reflective properties in the coatings on all air to glass surfaces. The last thing you would want in a situation is somebody seeing the reflection from your red dot or holographic weapon sight. And then you're just a dead giveaway. Armatech is an ultra hard coating. It's scratch resistant, so it protects exterior lenses from scratches, oil, dirt, anything of that nature. The FHQ technology virtually eliminates stray light emissions. It doesn't give off your signature in low light, and it prevents eyepiece glare common to other holographic sights. This optic is going to have 15 different levels of brightness and the lowest are night vision compatible. The controls on the back of the UH-1 are very user friendly. They're tactile, they're easy to access. Controls are a big factor that go into an optic. 
Granted, everything comes down to personal preference, but I'm sure we can all agree on that. I am a big fan of this integrated mount. It's very easy to manipulate, and you can mount your optic to a Picatinny rail in a matter of seconds. To prevent the latch from opening, there's a secondary button that acts as a lock. Once it's clamped down, it doesn't seem to want to move. It seems like it holds tight, and it does its job. The rugged housing on the UH-1 is able to withstand heavy recoil and hard impact, making it shockproof. Now I ran this optic on a 300 Blackout pistol, specifically the Sugar Weasel by Q. This optic didn't move a centimeter. It always stayed zero, and it ran at top performance. With testing from private contractors, it wasn't uncommon to see this optic perform in 120 degree temperatures for weeks on end and it still performed to its full capability. I don't think weather, temperature, is going to be an issue for this optic. As with all of Vortex's optics, they are backed by the VIP lifetime warranty. So if you ever have a problem, no matter what the cause is, they're going to take care of you. After spending some time with the Razer AMG UH-1, it's kind of changing how I feel about holographic weapon sights. I was never the biggest fan. They always appeared real fuzzy to me, I wasn't a fan of the low battery life, and they were just bulky. The Vortex left me with a good feeling after this test and evaluation. This is one optic that I wouldn't hesitate to use on any of my firearms. Guys, as always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.